Okay. Kind of draw these out a bit. This is what I'm going to do to the front. Okay, and then this will be kind of broken off. Off on this side. I think I'll do a small window here and then have the top half of this broken off so that it's kind of broken down like that. That gives people a little spot to hide behind and slots to shoot out. This is this window here will do full and this one will be broken. And then on the other side, this would be the window kind of thing in here. Okay, but I've moved it over so that I'm going to put this like that. That gives you about two inches on that side, so I wanted it balanced, so I've got two inches on that side. Okay? And the stuff that you're cutting off, you know, save all that stuff. Uh, I mean, I've got tons of it, but I still save it for some reason. Now, for shaping this stuff, this is what I like using a lot, is, is wood rasps, okay? And the difference between a rasp and a file is these teeth, right? Okay. Now, sometimes the cheaper is the better for doing stuff like this, okay? Uh, just a hint, like when you're actually buying a wood rasp and you're doing a bunch of wood work, okay? See how, let me just find a really good example for you here on one of these. Okay, yeah. Same bit. Okay. See how these are, they're not all even, okay? These are hand tip done, okay? So these are probably made in India or China. These are made in China. But how they did it was they had a piece of metal and then they had something that's stronger metal and they actually hammered deep in each of these little nicks, say, on here, okay? So they're not all perfectly straight, which is a good thing, okay? Especially when you're working with wood. You, you can buy a good rasp and they're done in the machine. Each of these are precision. So then when you go on your wood, it actually leaves, you know, a pattern. It'll leave like, you know, the lines on it. Here, I'll do this on the bottom of this. I'll do it sideways. See, and you'll have this sort of pattern on your wood, okay, which is really hard to sand out. Now with one that's been hand done, these are all off center, so you don't get that pattern. You know, though they're so, you know, they're not they're not like a comb. You know, they're all so it actually scrapes it off really nice. Okay, the only problem with these, of course, is, is it's not very good steel, and they're uh, you know, you know, for woodworking they wear out pretty good unless you're doing you know soft woods only okay but if you start playing with hard woods they'll wear out on you really quick so when you're junk collecting and you see a, a wood rasp there if it's one done by hand you know and you see that they're all holy geez those are all off you know they're not it's not done by a machine and it's you know made in Germany or US or something and it's obviously good steel buy it eh because it's a really good one and they're, they're actually really expensive okay so that's kind of why I like these cheap ones from China for doing this stuff is because they're done the same way and, and you don't get that pattern in your foam when you're filing it off. The other thing I use is you, know, you can take your X-Acto knife, say, and then just put a blade, a saw blade in them. It doesn't have to be a razor blade, okay? So it's kind of like a jigsaw, which is what I'm going to use on this one. You can take a hacksaw blade, hey, and just make one of these two and stick it in your thing, eh? But they're kind of nice for... Or a coping saw works really good, too. Coping saw or this little sauce? I should have a contest. I should do that. I have a contest and then have people send me examples of their work. And then I send you something. Something for making terrain rather than, you know, a miniature or a game piece or something like that. Something to help you make terrain. I'll give that some thought. I've got some stuff here. Maybe a whole set of hobby knives. Hobby knives and a, and a saw for doing this kind of thing. Yeah, that's what I'll do.
I think I may even have one of those left somewhere because I don't really use them that much anymore. I'll do that. I'll put on a video. Anyways, so get your ideas together for doing, you know, some a cool little piece that, you know, is duplicatable so that, you know, somebody else could kind of do it. Maybe not as, not the same, but... And ideally try to make it out of recycled type materials. Or cheap materials. This wall, you know, because it's broken, right? So who really cares if it's perfectly straight? Yeah? Uh, one of those little bandsaws work really good for doing this. If you got a cutter type thing or a grinder, may make a point on your blade, your hacksaw blade, because then you can just kind of poke it through, eh? This window here, try you know the the, the one that's going to be semi whole. You know, uh, try to do it nice, okay? So if in doubt, which in this case I am, make it just a little bit smaller, okay? First, it'll still allow you to work with it, okay? But it'll give you some room for making mistakes type thing because one of the things is like as you got thick thick well here I'll show you on this because this isn't very thick either and this is a fairly stiff blade okay but I'll show you okay see the what that side looks like it's you know, well, okay, I'm off a little bit on this side, but if you look on this side, it's really bad, hey, because your, your knife will, you know, your blade will tend to bend on you a bit, hey, and the thicker you're going through, the, the worse the situation. So if you make it a little bit smaller, and then you can always take your, your files, hey, and, and bring it out to your line, okay, then it's, you know, it's slowly out, and it's, it'll be a lot lot truer to what you want. So let me just quickly saw out the rest of these here and then we'll get kind of stuck together. Okay. And before I stick it together I'll turn this thing back on. And then this piece here is going to kind of go down there on to the ground. Okay. Hang on just a minute here. Have a vacuum beside you too so that you can suck up all this shit. It doesn't get all over the house. Hey. Otherwise, you won't be able to build inside anymore. Okay, well, since I still got you here, and I've still got a big mass, I might as well show you. This is what I was talking about by cutting it a little bit smaller, okay? And go, go slow with this stuff, because it does, you know, go, goes down pretty quick, okay? Here, where's one of the flat edges? Sets, or at least this one did that came with eight, eight different ones. You always end up tending to use just a couple of them, so they become your favorites. 